I just wrote a check to the government for $262,000. And today I wanna to share with you a full breakdown of my income over the last year so you can learn from my mistakes. Now, before I get into this, I wanna mention that I have a bunch of free stuff I'm gonna give you in today's video, including a software that I've been building, an AI app that helps you generate videos. This uh, app has actually helped me earn a ton of money online. I'm also gonna give you a free step-by-step -step course that allows you to understand everything I do to earn money online. And this step-by-step -step course also comes with a checklist of hundreds of different tools that you can start getting paid to promote. I'm gonna also give you videos that you can start posting. I'm gonna give you a VIP Discord group with group calls where you can join me and a group of other people that are learning how to make money online. And I'm just gonna give you everything that I've been working on over the last few years so you can get started today completely for free. Now, all you have to do to claim all the free stuff is drop a comment, subscribe, and watch this video to the end, and I will set you up with all of this free of charge today. All right, so let's jump into the profit and loss. Now, again, I'm not doing this to brag. I'm not doing this to say, oh, look at all the money I'm making. I wanna actually show you behind the scenes what's going on because I think a big problem with the uh, YouTubers out there that are all telling you, oh, I make all this money is they don't actually show you what's actually going on behind the scenes. And so that's why I wanna show you here what's really happening here. So first of all, let's talk about how much money I actually made. So I made about $1.7 million in gross income last year. Now, gross income basically means I didn't net that money. I, I, I didn't make that money uh, as, a, as, as a profit. That was just the total amount of money that the company I'm running made. And I'm gonna show you here that I made about $870,000 on Stripe, or sorry, PayPal. And then I made about $835,000 on Stripe. And I made about $37,000 in ad revenue on YouTube, which is actually not too bad for ad revenue, I think. Now, here we go. We got uh, $1.7 million uh, total income. We got commissions and fees, $163,000. That's people that are promoting my different products as affiliates. I'm paying them out. And so I paid about $163,000 to my affiliates. Um, again, those are just people that like promoting the products that I build. And it's people that, um, you know, they're just sharing links that I own with other people and they're taking a commission from those sales. So I think uh, our current commission structure, I think is like 40%. I have to double check on that. I do know we're redoing our affiliate program for a lot of our um, different products right now. All right, so also we got subcontractor expenses. Basically what this is, is this is just the um, labor. So I have about a team right now of over 10. I actually had more last year. I think I had around 15 to 20 different people. A lot of them are based in the Philippines and I paid about $340,000 uh, in labor and in um, paying for workers. So that's a lot of money, but um, Again, that's not really, in my opinion, negotiable just because I'm not gonna go build my own apps. I'm not gonna go um, and learn coding. I'm not gonna go answer every single email that I get. I'm not gonna go on f Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and all these different platforms and spend my time all day responding to people. And so uh, I'm willing to spend money on, um, on people to go and do those things for me. So yeah, about $340,000 there, 163,000, in commissions, so affiliates are almost people that work for you, but they, they work for themselves and they just promote the links. But overall, I paid about $500,000 um, to people that are either selling products for me or uh, you know they're fulfilling orders, doing customer support, doing app development. A lot of this was app development. So my two companies, Shineify and ShineRanker, they're very expensive to, to run. Uh, at, uh, Doing software is not for people that are like looking for, oh, I'm just trying to make a, you know, uh, make a living selling uh, cheap software. It takes a lot to run a software company. And this isn't even the, the APIs and the hosting. We'll get to that as well. So if you're thinking about software, I wouldn't recommend it unless you have a lot of patience, a lot of money, um, and you have time to wait to let the company grow. Uh, okay, so advertising and marketing, $29,000. Uh, a lot of that was just um, like 
ads that I ran like tests. Um, I, I don't normally run ads like almost ever. Um, every now and then I'll do like little tests and I'll try boosting a YouTube video or boosting a TikTok. I think a lot of that was actually me spending money on um, boosting TikTok accounts uh, with their ad uh, in, in app ad thing. Um, I actually had a TikTok account that got to about 150,000 followers and then it got banned because TikTok loves banning people that talk about money and uh, robots and all the stuff I talk about. So I kind of gave up on TikTok, but um, yeah, so uh, $29,000 on ads. And, and the cool thing though is, you know, that's proof that you don't really need a huge budget to make money um, in terms of advertising. I think a lot of people think, well, I'm going to have to spend all this money on ads. No, you don't. Um, if you, you want to go the organic route, that's how I've gone pretty much my entire career. And um, I think you know, organic is probably the easier route long term because the problem with ads is you, as soon as you stop spending money on ads, your traffic's gone. So um, I try not to be the ads guy. Uh, but anyways, uh, business licenses, $49. Contribute, sh contributions to charities, 500 I don't remember what that charity was, but um, uh, general business. So banking, uh, 698 Education, 5,800. Memberships and subscriptions, 3,500. I think I took a few online courses. I bought that one thing. Um, what's that one membership? It's called a masterclass. I was watching a lot of those videos and um, there's some good some good content on there. But uh, yeah, I'm just going through here. I'm just kind of running through here really quick just so you can see everything. And then we'll talk about kind of what I learned and what you know I think went well, what didn't go well. Um, insurance, $10,000. Legal and accounting, uh, 2,900. Accounting, 3,000 legal fees. Uh, we got meals, 27 K. I don't know if that's a lot. That might be a lot. Um, I spent a lot of money ordering food online, uh, cause I'm too lazy to go out and get it. <laughs> I'm usually working. So I'm like, I'll just order food. So I think that's probably a lot, but, um, anyways, we got office supplies, 2,500, uh, small tools and equipment, 6,900. I think this was a, a new gaming PC. I, I got, uh, I got it right next to me. Let's see if I can just turn the camera so you can see this. I had this built, I had this whole uh, setup over here. It's kind of nice, stand up desk, but yeah, it was expensive. I think this computer alone was like five grand. Software and apps, uh, $266,000. Now, I think this is actually categorized as a lot of the um, uh, hosting and API fees. It's very expensive to run software. So, uh, I think just the Google cloud hosting alone is about four to five grand a month. Uh, our APIs with chat GPT is like another five grand. Um, and we have a ton of different APIs that we're running. So a lot of that in there was, um, and then obviously I have a ton of subscriptions to different things. Like my email list costs a ton of money. I think it's like two grand a month just to keep it going. Um, so yeah, there's a ton of expenses with just running, you know, software and, and, and paying subscriptions for apps and that kind of stuff. So 266K, uh, supplies and materials, 38,000. I'm actually not a hundred percent on that. I need to go in there and look at that, but, um, I, I'm, I not a hundred percent sure what that is. Uh, PayPal fees, 32K repairs and maintenance, 7K Stripe fees, 34K and then travel. 17 for hotels, uh, 1,006. So anyways, uh, total expenses, 497,000 net profit, 741 K, um, from all of that. And then here we can see the actual total net income, $688,000 out of the 1.7 million. Now, obviously, so obviously 688,000 out of 1.7 mil is not ideal, but I think it's still pretty decent. I think some businesses operate on less margins than that. Uh, in fact, if I look up average business margins, let's see net profit. I think it's lower than 50%. 10% net profit is considered average. A 20% margin is considered high or good. So I think 700K net out of 1.7 million is like, definitely higher than 20% net profit. So I don't think that's terrible, but um, obviously I think it could be better, especially since I think software and online uh, 
goods have better margins because you're basically selling uh, things that aren't really physical products that need to be in front of the person or you need to spend all this money on machinery or the cost of the actual materials for the physical item. But let's talk about what I think I could have done better, what I learned from making $1.7 million and net profiting $688,000 and what I think you should do if you're starting out trying to earn money online, because obviously I didn't make this much money right out of the gate. Uh, my first year in business, I don't even think I made more than 40 or 50 grand. So the first thing I learned is that software is very, very expensive. I do not recommend most people, even myself, if I could go back in time, I probably would not do software again just because of how difficult it is to actually scale a software company. And it's very stressful. I think I would have done affiliate. I would have just promoted a product that I really liked. And this is actually advice I would have given to myself eight years ago, which is that you really don't need to have your own products. You don't need to have your own services. I think it's much better to be good at creating content like the video you're watching right now and push out a video every day. And then once you have content, just send people to different products like high level. I made over $60,000 promoting an affiliate for go high level, which is a website, uh, CRM tool. It, uh, does emails, texting, and this tool has been paying me out every single month. And I don't really have to do anything besides just send people to a link. Look at this, $6,700 they owe me on this side of the tool, another $2,600 on this side. And if you look at the uh, link here, this is all I had to do is just get people to click on this link. Now, the cool thing about affiliate as well is that, you know, it's just basically pure net profit. If I do a video and send people to a link and they buy it, I'm not paying for the customer support. I'm not paying for the fulfillment. I'm not worrying about the refunds or any of that. I'm just sending people to links. And so I think it's so much easier just to promote other people's products than it is to build your own. So that's the first lesson. The second thing I learned is that until you really start focusing on building content, long form content and short form content, you're going to have a very difficult time earning money. And the reason for this is that people usually do not buy from people until they like and trust them. And doing content right now is one of the easiest ways to get people to like and trust you. And so I, for a while, stopped doing content because I didn't think it was that important. So I would just send out emails and I would send people to links. And yeah, I was still making money, but I noticed a significant drop in sales, especially actually going into this year uh, when I stopped focusing as much on content. And I really think that if you're trying to earn money and you're thinking to yourself, gosh, I just want to get started. I just want to make some sales and you're not doing content yet. You're not doing uh, like long form videos like this. You're not doing short form videos to bring viewers in and start building a following. You are going to have an extremely difficult time earning money online because I really think that the people that are going to make the most money over the next five, 10 years and even longer are people that are going to be good at driving attention to things. And with the rise of AI, apps are going to be built like that. You're going to be able to uh, think of something and it's just going to be there. And so if you can be good at getting people to focus on things, which by the way, they say right now, the average attention span of somebody is less than a goldfish just because of how much there is online. Now there's just so much information, so many different videos, so much going on that if you can just get people to focus on something for a little while, it's going to really make a lot of money because the most valuable thing right now, in my opinion, is, is getting people to just have sustained focus on whatever you're talking about. Another thing I learned is that being consistent creates luck. The, the huge reason why I made a lot of money last year and the year before is because I was very consistent with creating content around automation, AI, chat GPT. And I actually didn't even realize that it was going to become a big trend. In fact, when ChatGPT blew up and everybody started talking about AI, I was pretty much the only person talking about AI on YouTube at the time. 
And so I had a course about AI called AI Profits that was available before ChatGPT was even a thing, before people even knew what ChatGPT was. And so as soon as that trend hit, boom, I had a huge spike in sales. I had my first $300,000 a month. And again, the reason why this happened was because I was so consistent creating content for so long that eventually something just took off. Something I got lucky because I hit a trend and then I made a bunch of money. And so I, I don't think I would have been able to hit that trend though if I would have been there after the fact, if I would have been creating content after the fact. And so you never know when something's just going to work. You never know when you're going to create a video and all of a sudden it's just going to blow up or a trend's going to hit or all of a sudden this product that you sell, everybody wants. And so some of the stuff that has sold the best, I didn't even realize till after the fact that it was working. Um, and so I think you want to think about success as a, as a long-term uh, just keep grinding, grinding, grinding and realizing that some, at some point it will work, but you just have to not give up. And that's really, really hard. I've been super discouraged uh, because even this last year, because there has been a big downward trend since I had a lot of success. I, I mean, I think I'll make maybe a million dollars in gross profit this year, but I was, you know, trending upwards for the last uh, six or seven years. And so that feels really bad. It's really demotivating. But the mentality that got me to where I'm at now, where, I, where I've been able to make as much as I have, was being able to keep grinding regardless of the result, regardless of the trend or the um, you know, ups and downs. And so I think if you're having down points or you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on. I don't, you know, one of the things I like to tell myself is that the reason why most people are, aren't successful is because most people can't handle what it takes. And so you don't wanna be like most people though. You wanna be the 0.1%, right? You wanna be the 0.1% of earners. Well, in order to become the 0.1%, you have to be willing to go through what most people are not willing to go through. If it's difficult, it means that you're ahead of most people that have given up already. So don't get discouraged by how difficult something is. Get encouraged by it because you're gonna get past that thing and you're gonna work harder than most people so you can get what most people are not going to be able to achieve. And I think the final thing I learned is that your income does not dictate who you are or your intelligence level. I see a lot of people that got very, very lucky and they are just average people that got started doing content and they're now making millions and millions of dollars a year but they got very lucky. They hit a trend or they hit, um, you know, a, an opportunity that worked out very well. And I don't believe that everybody that's rich is somehow smarter than the average person. I think that there are obviously a lot of smart people that make money, but I also think that there's just average people that have been able to make a lot of money just because they were consistent and they figured out a way to, uh, do something that other people didn't know how to do and they were just ahead of other people at the time and they got lucky. And so all I'm saying is that based on everything I'm telling you in this video, um, if you want to really get started and you want to start changing your life and start earning more money, the only way to do that is by doing something every day, being very consistent, the other reason why I made a lot of money besides the fact that I was just creating content about AI is because I was doing the same boring thing every single day. In fact, I almost made the same video every day for like a year. If you look at my YouTube channel, you'll see all the videos I was making at that time when I was making all that money. I was doing the same exact thumbnail, the same exact title, the exact same. I would literally get on and I would be like, okay, here we go again. All right, guys, welcome to the video. And then I would do the exact same video because I knew that the way the, the algorithm worked that is that, you know, most of these platforms that are distributing content, they're distributing it to new people, not the same people. They're usually, uh, you know, 80% of your people that are watching your content are new people. And so you're basically saying the same thing every single day. <laughs> um, 
And so that got really discouraging, but I was making so much money with it. I was like, no, I'm just going to stay consistent. I'm just going to keep doing the same thing. I'm, just, I'm not going to give up. And you got to figure out a way to stop telling yourself to give up. Stop making it optional. Uh, you know, stop saying, well, you know, I'm, I might do this today. I might. No, you're doing it today. You got to get it done. You have to do it and stop making it a negotiation. That's it. Um, and, and, uh, and don't worry about the end result. Just worry about being consistent because if you stay consistent long enough at anything, eventually something will work. You just have to keep going. There you go. Uh, again, you, if you watch to the end, great. Let me know in the comments. Um, and if you want to claim all this free stuff that I told you about earlier, all you have to do is drop a subscribe comment and, uh, leave a like, and we'll see you inside all the bonuses. I can't wait to see you in the group, in the live calls, all the stuff you're getting. Um, and I'll see you then. So until then, happy money making. See you next time. Bye.